you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 2nd wednesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st matthew chapter 15 verses 29 to 37 From there Jesus went to the shore of Lake Galilee and then went up into the hills where he sat down great crowds came to him bringing the dumb the blind the lame the crippled and many with other infirmities people carried them to the feet of Jesus and he healed them all were astonished when they saw the dumb speaking the lame walking the crippled are healed and the blind able to see and they glorified the god of israel jesus called his disciples and said to them i am filled with the compassion for these people they have already followed me for 3 days and now have nothing to eat i do not want to send them away fasting or they may faint on the way his disciples said to him and where shall we find enough bread in this wilderness to feed such a crowd jesus said to them how many loaves do you have they answered seven and a few small pieces jesus ordered the people to sit up on the ground then he took the seven loaves and the small fish and gave thanks to god he broke them and gave them to his disciples who distributed them to the people they all ate and were satisfied and the leftover pieces filled seven baskets the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends the readings are about the abundance that comes from god this is what the salvation means the fulfilling of all our needs spiritual emotional social and physical and the gospel full of trust and confidence people bring their lamb the crippled the blind and the dumb jesus healed them all and the crowds were amazed there and comes his heal which is a kind of a parable of what jesus stands for the compassion of god and his desire that the needs of all be supplied they have been with him for 3 days and they are hungry they must be fed there is not much to feed them with seven loaves of bread and a fish but it is enough for jesus again and again people who gave dedicated themselves to caring for the hungry caring for the hungry and homeless how found what they needed turning up on their doorstep at the end seven baskets are still left uneaten all this symbolizes the care of god and yet where is it happening in so many parts of the world today there is a crucial element in today's gospel we cannot overlook it was not jesus but his disciples who distributed the food in our world there is an abundance food production out spaces population growth if there is hunger malnutrition and other unmet needs it is because we god's stewards are failing in our task of distribution if there is hunger and suffering and death it is not the work of god it is our failure to work christmas is a time of giving we could ask ourselves to whom are we giving with whom are we sharing what we have or can afford to buy perhaps we could widen the circle this christmas with gifts that mean life or death for the receivers beneficiaries who will never know who their benefactors are and who will not be able to give anything back did jesus not say in something about giving so quietly that the left hand will not know what the right hand is doing amen may god bless us